Welcome to the next lesson in an introduction to domains. In the last lesson, we took a tour of the DNS and got real technical, going over what each entry means, how to change it, and what the ramification of those changes are. We're going to slow things up a bit in this lesson and talk about domain forwards. Now, as we learned in the last lesson, we could set up a domain forward using the DNS by changing the C name or the A record. However, there is a much easier way to do it. So if I go to my panel and hover for the domain we purchased at the beginning of the course, wp1mo.com, there are two places right on this screen where I can update and create a domain forward. I can click forwards to see the domain forwards I'm creating, or if I go back to the overview page, I can click forward this domain. So once I click forward this domain, I'm going to be presented with three different types of forwards. I can forward the full domain to wpinonemonth.com and let's include the HTTPS here. And then I can save that forward. But as you saw, there are several other types of forwards I can create as well. For example, I can create a subdomain, example.wp1mo.com or I can create what looks like a subfolder, wp1mo.com slash example. These are great if we want to create specific forwards. For example, if we wanted to forward so, our domain uh, for to example, our Facebook page, instead of uh, forwarding wp1mo.com supporting the Facebook this page, show, we could forward mm -hmm. wp1mo.com slash Facebook. For example, Hover so this is great is if you want to create supporting URLs for your social fuck. media profiles, or if you want to create a branded URL for uh, an affiliate or a side business. For, for example, example, Hover, Hover is, the is sponsor supporting of this course. Jesus. So if I wanted to create a branded URL bam, bam, to go bam, 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 to Hover, bam, I could do that by creating one the of coffee. these forward types. I could do wp1mo.com slash Hover, and I can have it forwarded to our Hover landing page. You'll notice that there's also a option here for masking. What masking means is okay. instead of the URL forwarding to the domain and then the domain changing to the proper one, the URL that the users would see would still be wp1mo.com slash hover. I'm not going to do that. I prefer not to mask the domains. So I'm going to save this forward. So now we've got two. The last one is the subdomain. I would select the subdomain. If I wanted to create a subdomain for this course, I might do uh, domains.wp1mo.com and then I would forward it to this course. And again, I'm gonna keep masking off here. So I'll save the forward. And then let's go ahead and test all of these forwards we just created. So first we'll do wp1mo.com. Perfect, that forwards to wpinonemonth.com. If we do wp1mo.com slash hover, perfect, it takes us to our uh, hover landing page. And then if I do domains.wp1mo.com, you'll notice that this takes us to the home page, and that's not the forward that we set up. And that's because, much like when we modify our DNS, which is what hover is essentially doing. Uh, under the hood. It takes time for the new domain to propagate. So what Hover will do is fall back to the non-subdomain, the top-level domain forward. If we hadn't set up a domain forward for wp1mo.com, we would just see the Hover landing page. So this is going to take some time to propagate, so why don't we wait a few minutes and then we will come back and we'll test that forward. Alright, and we're back. So. It's been about 10 minutes, uh, and we're going to try to test this again. So I'll type in domains.wp1mo.com, and the redirect is working. So uh, again, this, just like the DNS, could be subject to uh, TTL times that are longer than the DNS TTL times. Uh, it could be subject to your location around the world or things like that. Uh, so if you are setting up a domain forward, Remember that it could take just as long for the domain forward to, to go into effect 
uh, as it does just changing the DNS by itself. But that's it for this lesson. We learned how to set up three different domain forwards. Uh, one for the top level domain, that was wp1mode.com, forwarding to wp1month.com. A uh, subfolder esque forward, so wp1mode.com slash hover, forwarding to uh, the hover landing page for students of these courses. Uh, and then a subdomain forward, domains.wp1mo.com. Uh, forwarding to the landing page for this course. In the next and final lesson, we're going to learn how we can set up email with hover.com. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. If you did, go ahead and click the like button, or even better, head over to wpinonemonth.com slash hover and check them out. Buy your domain from them. They're offering a nice discount for anybody who has never bought a domain from them who are students of WP in one month. The next video should be right below me, uh, unless you're on the last video, which in that case, congratulations, you have completed the domains and DNS course. Thanks.